Dr. Veronica Lambert, a lecturer in the School of Nursing and Human Sciences at Dublin City University. Um, I'm involved in conducting research in the field of child and family healthcare communication. I became particularly interested um, in researching in the field of um, epilepsy and particularly in relation to this um, kind of healthcare communication because it is a particular issue for children living with epilepsy and their families. Um, just in relation to this kind of felt stigmatization um, of having this condition, they feel embarrassed, they feel shame, um, and this is kind of documented kind of historically. Um, and I suppose the purpose of the study was to really look at the kind of hidden nature of um, epilepsy because they don't want to tell others about the having epilepsy because of this felt stigmatization. We have currently uh, two projects uh, been undertaken in. The in, in, they're in their infancy stage um, exploring um, parents and families' experiences of communicating um, about epilepsy. One project is looking at within the context of within the family, how parents and children living with epilepsy communicate within the family context um, about their epilepsy. And the second project explores children living with epilepsy, their experiences of, of discussing or talking about their epilepsy to other people, such as their peers, their classmates and their teachers. So the project that I'm involved in is looking to explore how children talk about epilepsy, so with their peers, um, in a school context, maybe to other family members, that kind of thing. So we're looking to explore children's experiences of disclosing their condition to others, or in some cases they may not have disclosed their condition to others, so they may have kept it hidden or a secret. Um, so we're looking to see this and also from a family perspective we want to know how it has been for families to disclose the, the child's condition to others. We're looking for children aged 6 to 15 years with a diagnosis of epilepsy for more than six months and their families to participate. So just participation would involve just short interviews with ch children and their parents and if you would like to participate, if you just get in contact with us, that would be great. We'd appreciate anyone to participate. The project um, I'm working on is involved more in the family context of epilepsy, so we're interested in finding out about how families uh, discuss epilepsy and how uh, children feel like they can talk to their parents and other siblings about their epilepsy and the stigma surrounding it. So we're hoping to start recruiting uh, for the study very soon. Um, hopefully details will be up soon on epilepsy.ie about taking part and we hope um, many of you will take part. Both of these projects have been made possible by funding received from Epilepsy Ireland and the Health Research Board of Ireland, uh, which have enabled us to uh, recruit these two PhD students to conduct the studies. And we also like to acknowledge the numerous collaborators on the project, which include Epilepsy Ireland, uh, Tempestry Children's University Hospital, um, and Colin Doherty, the National Clinic Lead in Epilepsy, and Professor Joan Austin, who is the international expert in uh, childhood uh, research in the field of epilepsy. Our ultimate goal or vision um, for the outcome for these projects is to normalise the conversation surrounding epilepsy. This starts within the family and moves beyond into the wider society. And the ultimate aim is that children living with epilepsy and their families can live well and beyond epilepsy. Thank you.